Number six in the Masters of Cinema series is La Planète Sauvage or The Fantastic Planet and I really don't know where to start with this one. I don't even know why I pulled out the collection, why I had the inclination to throw on but wow I am so glad I did. It is a wonderful tale uniquely told and I think one of the things I want to talk about before I go into the story is the unique world building that this does. It has weird and wonderful characters. It has this fully fledged alien planet that we are flung into and it is just fantastic. We open up to a scene of a mother and a child running from some unknown threat and as she runs up a hill this giant hand comes down and just kind of pings her down the hill again and as she tries several more times pings her down ultimately killing her and leaving the baby there to fend for its own and we pull back to re uh, really see that these humans were tortured and tormented by these giant blue humanoid like creatures uh, I think they're called drags in the movie if I can remember correctly and they're just playing with these humans as if they're animals just to be toyed with uh, one of them takes sympathy on the, the crying baby and takes it home to raise it as her own pet and that's the character we follow we follow this character as he kind of uh, learns what he can and can't do but learns a lot about the society of these blue creatures through this headset that, the, that his owner has one that's kind of like a school within the headset that teaches her all about the planet and how they're going to do it and he decides one day to just make a break for it to try and find some free range humans out there in this strange world and together he goes on a quest that ultimately takes him to some extreme lows and extreme highs as he meets more like-minded people, some people that fight against him as he educates and changes the, the, the city, uh, pathway of his species and as they become a little bit more elevated and realise that they are more than just playthings for these giant creatures and it is wonderfully realised uh, for a, a quick uh, 70 minute movie it packs a lot into it and it was truly captivating from the really weird and unique designs of the characters to the planet to the, the, the things that populate this planet as well I was hooked and I watched this with my three kids all ranging from the ages of like 3 to 10 and each of them were just mesmerised by this we all agreed we'd never seen anything like it we all agreed that it was a wonderful tale and we all agreed that we'd like to revisit it at some point pretty soon as well all down to the, the strange design of everything and the tale is great as well think of it if you must uh, akin to planet of the apes where we have our main character slowly start a rebellion educate people and ultimately fighting back against their kind of oppressors it's like that um but a little bit more in it as well. I just loved uh, the fantastic planet. It was something that I, I had zero expectations and it's one of my favourite things to do, just put it on and get ultimately lost in a terrific story really well told. And that's what this is. The designs are fantastical, strange, weird, but feel ultimately fitting within this world that they are placed. The humans and how they are treated at the home life is like pets, like pampered poodles, the way they're kind of brought up and treated. And when they get out to the humans that are in the wild and surviving themselves, they kind of clash because we get a pampered and we get ones who've had to live rough and fight for everything they kind of got. And it's nice dynamics between all these little facets throughout the movie that just kept me fascinated and when the story dipped ever slightly which it doesn't happen often there'd be some weird and colourful strange creature encompassing the screen that I didn't know where to look checking this thing out this is one that you'd, you'd probably bypass quite easily it's one that I've often looked at in my collection and looked at the cover and thought not this time <laughs> but I'm so glad I finally got round to checking this thing out now I've not been through all the extras on this one but I have checked out um, the five short films that are on here and they're just nice to see what this guy has done, the work that he's you know, created and they're all very different and some of them are more basic than others, some of them are more advanced or more contemporary uh, but they're all very different and great additions to this 
so much so that when I started one, I had to watch the other four. I just was curious to see the evolution of this guy's work. I want to suggest this one because I I, I had uh, no preconceptions about it. I just didn't fancy it. It didn't look like my cup of tea and I ultimately loved it. And I just want to say, if you've looked at this one, if you've thought, no, that's not really for me, I'd say give it a shot. 70 minutes, wonderful, truly unique, and a really worthwhile story that resonates all the way through it as well. This is another fantastic release, and I highly recommend it. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you've seen La Planet Savage, a fantastic planet, let me know in the comment box below. We'll see you next time on Man V Film.